Welcome back to the Goons Podcast, the number podcast in all of. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> what? Wait, what was that? Did you hear him cut out? Did you do that on purpose or was it that bad? I did that on purpose. <laughs> Oh, okay. you, you lied to us. We asked you before the podcast started if you had a location. That's it. I'm drinking. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you just play a sound effect or was that real? Wait, McNasty. That was so really are, high quality. Actually, McNasty, are you gonna? <laughs> yeah. Does it feel good? Does it? I hope somebody that's driving just goes to check their phone because they think it paused and they just hit a tree. And they just wow. smash into a telephone pole. <laughs> That's just mean. Why would you hope that on somebody? And then the insurance company deems it as a suicide and their family can't get their money. <laughs> yeah, that'd be epic. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for this. Uh, yeah, let's just move on to our first topic. Michael asks... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we, are we doing a Q&A? Uh, no, he was doing, he's continuing Please the bit. Please don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. All right, go ahead. Uh, I, I, don't know, I, I don't this. know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what's going on anymore. What did Michael ask? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> no, you didn't. <sighs> Okay, please. Just pure confusion. Has right, it been a minute yet? Yeah. Fuck Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I already said fuck Dude, in the Michael's first minute. Dumb. Whatever. God damn it. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah. What? It, what are we talking question. about today? Now we're the past a bit. Bit is not funny anymore. All right. Um. So to start off, uh, the bed. <laughs> to start off, we're going to. I'm leaving. I don't. I don't want to be on this, this podcast the worst. anymore. This is literally the worst. Why? Why is anyone even listening to this That's anymore? It. Why are I'm you taking, still here? I'm taking my four dollar cut of our ad revenue and leaving. Yeah. If you've listened thus far, comment colored pencil, and that's it. Yeah, colored pencil, and then we'll we'll give you a dollar. Actually, you no, 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 we won't. We'll be negative money. <laughs> If no, you've no. made it this far, leave a blank <laughs> comment if that's possible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you've made it this far, please stop and do something else because this is a waste of your time. <laughs> it is very much. Why are you even here? Why are any of us here? I don't know. Oh, that's deep. That bro. is deep. Uh, yeah. Did you go on Tumblr? I did. I've had a Tumblr since 2008. Not surprised. Yeah. Your Instagram looks like a Tumblr for a depressed 12 year old girl. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who likes vans and guitars? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. That's a niche, but hey, it's there. Yeah, that is very, very. Why, what are you, are you drinking champagne out of, the, out of the bottle? Whiskey. Out of the bottle? Why do you keep reopening it? He's drinking I don't have a cup. Milk. <laughs> I don't have a cup. <laughs> goat milk straight He's out of a bottle. Like one shot every like 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> every second I have to spend with you guys, I take a shot. <laughs> take a shot every time McNasty annoys you. This you, bottle's you done. Die. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah. On the last podcast, we <clears throat> subtly mentioned um, for you guys to ask us questions. And uh, yeah, did? some people. Yeah, it was it was so it was so like slipped in there. I think you said show. like it was, show. it was in the middle of like a topic, and you just like threw it in there. And I'm pretty sure oh, I said at me. the very end to say to ask questions. Oh, it might have been you that said that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, my confidence is gone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I gave you credit for that. You don't deserve credit, you drunk. <laughs> Stop doing that! <laughs> that was for the bin. All right, we ASMR. All right, get on to whatever the fuck we're talking about today. I'm bored. All right, uh, Yo-Yo asked. Uh, this is a good question to start off with, and it's pretty. I've only been using pretty good stories out of, it, except for one person. Uh, the question is, how did you lose your virginity? All right, All right I'll be back. I'm gonna get some food. <laughs> um, I I, feel like he's I not put kidding. my dick in a woman. Well, they don't, there was, they're not asking you to explain the was, birds and the bees. I <laughs> put was, my phallic organ into the female meat hole. <laughs> Male peepee uh, touch female peepee. What happened? I uh, I don't know. There was female there was nothing peepee. exciting. <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't lose your virginity in like a, a weird not a way. McNasty way. No, I did not. It was with my girlfriend who I was with for a long period of time at that point, and I'm still with to this day. 
Like, I, I, I don't know. A girl tried to have sex with me before the Mario Kart one. Mm. And I was like, wait, wait, what? No. Oh, were you not here for that story? I was not here for the Mario Kart yeah, sex oh, story. Give him a little recap. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Uh, long story short, I went over to a girl's house because I was really excited to play Mario Kart. And she kept trying to give me a head, but I just wanted Mario Kart. Mm. That was it. And then her mom walked down the stairs. And then I, gamer. I, saw, I, saw, I saw her mom while her daughter's head was like around my area. And it was, it was not so great. So instead of blue balls, you had a blue shell. <laughs> yeah. It was a red shell, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I no, literally nothing exciting. It was just awkward, weird first time sex because you don't know what you're doing and you feel like you're going to nut in four seconds. Well, is that what like I have to look forward yep. to? Yeah, 100%. Awesome. Yeah, when you're 45. <laughs> <laughs> By that point, you might not even be able to get a boner anymore, dude. I'm just trying to, look, I'm just trying to outdo Steve Carell, okay? I'm going to be older than the 40-year-old well, version. You're working. You're, you're, you're at it. You're getting there. Honestly, I feel like it might, it might be better for you to lose your virginity at a later age. Because you're, you're no longer in that, like, awkward stage where, like, everything is awkward, you know? He's 25. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, what do you like, mean? He's, he's open about his virginity. He's, you know, I'm sure that whoever he meets that's going to take his virginity already will know that. Is going like to laugh at him. I don't, if, I don't know if open about my virginity is the right phrase. I was kind of outed by Grizzy in a video. <laughs> we asked you. I, meme. I specifically remember asking you or somebody asked you if like, are, are you open about it? And you were like, yeah, no, I then, actually, no, I actually couldn't give two shits. I don't care. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. I mean, like, I, I figured if you did give a shit, you, you know, you could just go fuck someone because, you know, yeah, exactly. you play guitar and are a YouTuber. Bold of you to assume I could do that. And you're cute. <laughs> you don't know. No, he's that. not. He looks like an altar boy. Don't You're handle. cute. Oh, uh, we know. Hey, hey, altar boys are cute to prove. Yeah, shave cute to your neck. <laughs> hey, McNasty, can you not? <laughs> you not ne- to talk about my neck. Your neck looks like a bare ankle. What? <laughs> 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 For the record, this is quarantine, so I have to give you that. My my beard was pretty rough up until listen, a few days listen, ago. I just haven't shaved in a long time. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. Did you have a mustache though, or were you Amish for a bit? I I only had neck hair, nothing else. <laughs> so you looked like a you, so you looked like a lion that didn't get enough air at birth. Like you just had this circle around your head. Uh, oh, that is gross. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on. I don't even we're talking about, talking about, we're talking about <laughs> losing virginity. Oh, right, right. We're talking about bare ankles. No, but honestly, I feel like I feel like losing it at a later age, even though it kind of sucks, you don't really have that like young age of just wanting to like fuck a bunch of people. You still like I feel like your first time is going to be less awkward than if you were like 16. Yeah. Just because whoever yeah. whoever gets with you and takes your virginity is going to know that you're a virgin. You don't have to like hide it or they you know, you're dating somebody that thinks you're good at sex or something. You know, they, they oh, expect they it to be a little bit impression. weird at first. So, <laughs> If anything, they Can might be see, like... Are you just trying to avoid telling your story? <laughs> <laughs> the reason I picked this out as the first question is because I we talked about this, I think, at the end of the last one or the one before. And you were like, oh, we'll, Did save, we talk that. About- we'll save that for the next podcast. And I was like, oh, okay. oh, yeah. Tell us all about it. <laughs> Lots of details. I want to hear everyone else. I want to hear soups. Mine's sex. not interesting at all. It's just a normal so, like sex mine. Story. Yeah, you really? just had yeah, sex and were like, really... "Oh, that's that's that." Me yep. to come. So you weren't like, did you did you lose your virginity to somebody you were dating? Or I was, was in just... a big mud pit surrounded by gators <laughs> in the heat of the moment. No, it was nothing interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's probably a good thing though that it wasn't like. Yeah, it was my uncle or something. Fun, my sister you know? got stuck in the fridge, and next thing I know, I wanted a bologna sandwich. God damn, I couldn't get to the bologna without so you put my your salami in, in that Arby sandwich. No, nothing interesting. Yeah. All right, McNasty, on to yours. <laughs> I know you got a lot of content here. Why do I feel like that porn video exists? <laughs> my story? Rednecks. Oh, Rednecks. Probably both. Stuck in fridge. Don't look it up. Mm, I'm looking it up. 
<laughs> well, there is there's porn like that where like stepsister gets stuck under right. bed or something. He's, he's really really pushing it to the side. <laughs> I'm talking to do. <laughs> Gator gets stuck in my butt. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. The um, unclear. The way I lost my virginity was kind of weird. Uh, there was a man. <laughs> there was a man. <laughs> yes, there was a man. Um, when yeah, I was, you guys say I'm gay. When I was a freshman. <laughs> When I was a freshman in high school, I met this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so weird before I actually get to the story. I know. I like a freshman in high school, I met this dude. We became and close. And we hit it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I met this guy, and uh, we became we, we, we met because we were we were both emo. I know. That oh, this gets as better fuck. and better. <laughs> <laughs> so he straightened each other's hair and then and the reason, so the reason <laughs> he went, I to Olive Garden. Hair, went to Olive Garden had a glass of wine <laughs> cut behind the dumpster in the parking lot is that what emos do? they go to Olive Garden and drink wine? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he doesn't like Olive cry. Garden <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I met him and we became like best friends uh, he, he's actually the one that in- introduced me to RuneScape I don't think I would have ever played RuneScape if I didn't meet him Wow, this guy really just everything that you like, sex and yeah. runescape, he introduced you to. Sex and runescape, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but no, I met him and then um, we were just friends for like a year. And I don't think he dated anybody during that time. But he, uh, once we hit sophomore year, he, he started dating this girl. And uh, um, they used to go. They formed a bridge. They used to go to, because she lived, she didn't live very far away from the school. So sh- they would just ditch school like every day and go to his house and fuck and uh i didn't want to go at first because they wanted me to like ditch with him and i was just kind of like i was like a brand new sophomore i was just like oh you know if i ditch i'm gonna get in trouble and uh yeah and uh, eventually i was just like fuck it so my mom my mom would drop me off at school and uh i would walk across the street towards the school wait for her to drive away and then just turn around and walk the other way and then meet my friend up, meet, meet with my friend and his girlfriend, like right across the street. And, uh, yeah, we walk back to her place and, uh, they, they, so I, I would like the way it started when I first started going over there, it was like, they would be in her, her mom's room, like fucking. And I would just be like out in the living room watching TV or something or playing games. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, eventually I started like, like a nightmare. <laughs> eventually I started yeah. venturing into the room. <laughs> They like what? Because they were like they were completely okay with like me being around y'all, them. Like y'all got y'all got any snacks in here? Like no, right. <laughs> it wasn't like I was creeping around or anything. They like they were like completely okay with me being around them, like having sex and uh, just eating a bag of chips in the corner while steady just, eye like, contact. Watching SpongeBob on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, when they, just cleaning a revolver just, in the corner <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I'm just like whittling a fucking knife out of soap or something for no reason. <laughs> this is such a bizarre story. It is. I've it's never very heard like weird. this in depth. It makes me yeah. uncomfortable. I'm like anxious right now to hear what happens next. Yeah, uh, like even even before that, like they would fuck. Like we would go to the park together, like at night, and just like drink whiskey, and they would like fuck on like the um like the playground thingy. Jesus, like visible to you, just like, like visible to me. Yeah, I saw pretty much everything. I they, think this was their kink at this point. There was yeah. one instance where just make the nasty. You were a us. cock. You're yeah. like you were, you were a <laughs> cock, like, bro. They were the like cuck. parents who fuck in front of a toddler. There was one instance where I remember we were sitting. I was sitting on the stairs, and she was sitting on top of me, and he just started fucking her on top of me, bruh. <laughs> You have lived such a different life than what I have lived. I probably would have bought a gun. Weird. I would have stopped hanging out with them. Dude, I was a, just a dumb fucking emo kid. I didn't give a shit about shit. I don't know. Were they, they obviously, they, they were older than you, right? No, we were all the same age. What the fuck, man? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you ever just be sitting on stairs and two people get on top of you and start <laughs> fucking each other? How one was, time, uh, my best friend's how, girlfriend said, oh man, they started fucking. I was just sitting there. <laughs> How was her relationship with her dad? Uh, I don't think she had a dad around. It was just her and her mom that lived there. Yeah, Ah. math checks out. (laughs) (laughs) All right, the the lines connect. (laughs) (laughs) It'll be a weird math uh, 
problem in <laughs> so listen, the, 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 when you when the girl was sitting on you and the dude was fucking her like were you holding her legs or something like were you involved <laughs> like, physically I don't in, remember yeah, like, like, I was, I was pretty sure I was drunk <laughs> She did he like a snail on trail on his, on his no, leg? No. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a little snail trail. Did her fucking <laughs> puss juice get on you? Like, <laughs> obviously <laughs> there was some debris. Did he, did he finish on you? No, he got to be some stray bullets that are hitting you. He probably fucked for like three <laughs> minutes and then like got up and like did something else. And like probably fucked. That's all he around. had? What a pussy. Well, uh, I didn't like, it wasn't like a, in, like a full session on top of me. Bro, you got to give us more detail. You're skimming around all the all the yeah, good no, shit. Here. I want the full. Oh, I'm telling you the detail. Noah Bridge. No, I want to know like where the cum shot landed, they bro. Didn't, he didn't come. <laughs> what what did it sound like? They like he didn't they like come? fucked for like three or four minutes, and then they like got up off of me and went to the other or went inside of her oh, house. The, and then they, came. So they you sat there, there for three, three or four and minutes and let a guy <laughs> rail his girlfriend on top of you. Yes, I did. <laughs> Like in what position was she on top of you? She was just like she was sitting like the same way I was sitting, like legs out. She was sitting on. So you, so you were making. So a guy was thrusting (laughs) in between your legs to fuck his girlfriend. So hold on. So you were making eye contact with him while she was looking at it. So you were like scratching his back when he was doing it, like (laughs) (laughs) slap him on the ass. Just give him a score to Gatorade every couple minutes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> pat his for pat, pat the sweat off his forehead with a little rag. <laughs> get a little yeah, shit. Get a little wine wine bottle and squirt it in his mouth. <laughs> you doing good, buddy. <laughs> Smack the back uh, of his balls on a towel. Like, what was going on? Her hair back. You doing good, sweetie? Fan her <laughs> off. How's that feeling? <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember the exact details of it, but I remember that it happened. No, you remember, damn it. You tell I don't. it. I don't. It was so long ago. Bullshit, oh, nasty. Man. That is God, you know what the forget. best part of this is? He hasn't even hard. gotten close to his virginity yet. He's still a virgin, too, so he's just watching oh, yeah, it. Th- I saw them fuck Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the best part. <laughs> you're, like, you're like literally a POV video. That's that's the view you were <laughs> yeah, getting. You're the cameraman. You're the fucking nasty. cameraman. You are one camera away from having a very different career. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, god all right so so all that happens and then how like i'm guessing you got involved eventually <laughs> let me i'll get to that point. i think that i think that was inevitable <laughs> yeah it sounds like he was kind of pushing for that well at first oh, like hell? i i know that they wanted me or she wanted me to join and i knew that he didn't care but i obviously i was virgin i was fucking 15 years old was nervous as hell. So it's not something Why? I just wanted to like jump into and be like, okay, I'm fuck it. What could like, have possibly made you feel nervous? <laughs> Honestly, like I, I shouldn't have felt nervous because they they probably fucked like a hundred times around me before I actually like. They were comfortable, it. like comfortable as fuck around you. They were man. very comfortable. Yeah. I didn't give a damn. You got like the most hands-on like sex ed class I can imagine. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, Not see. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of like other situations that happened before. Yes. Well, you said right. hundreds. <laughs> well, I'm not going to sit here and name six off hour podcast. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> well, one time they did a McDonald's, and the other time they did a <laughs> So we know, we know they've used a park. They've used McNasty's leg. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, before I was talking about like I would actually be in the room while they were doing it, and. Uh, she, what I was doing in the room while they were doing is her, her, cause they were doing it on their mom's bed. Her mom had a computer right next to her bed. So I, I think I was playing RuneScape while they were fucking, I was oh, just like, doing right. it. yeah, God. that, that definitely, yeah, that makes sense. I can't it's remember if it's like you, I can't remember if I had started playing RuneScape at that point, but I remember <laughs> the, just being on the computer and like, they were just fucking on the bed. And I was just like Googling, like. How to make Did a you guys casserole keep it or down? something. I'm trying to do dragon slayer <laughs> yeah. over here, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, eventually, uh, I would like, eventually I'd like lay on the bed, like lay next to them while they were fucking just like watch. <laughs> what? Yeah, what this is hearing? what they hear while they're just. <laughs> See shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> Actually, she wasn't a moaner, believe it or not. She was not a moaner. Was his dick little? Uh, Damn, that's why she wanted you to join. He had a pretty average dick. 
I think me and him pretty much had like the I same size. I can't believe you have that information. <laughs> <laughs> well, I That's, saw it oh a trillion times. Of course, I know the information. Um, that is cursed. But yeah, um, and then I'd like, uh, I just kind of like play with her boobs while they were like fucking. Just, like, what? Just lay there oh on the bed. Oh my god. She wanted me to. She like, I was like sitting there. She took my hand and like put it on her boob. And I was like, fuck. 15 year old touching boob. <laughs> I feel like that's. I don't know what to say. I feel like that's sexual assault. <laughs> well, I could tell that she knew that I wanted it, but I was just too afraid at the time. That's still sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just assume. Bill Cosby probably thought all those women wanted it too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a little bit uh, extreme, though. And look at him. He's in prison. <laughs> she didn't knock me out and then make me touch her boobs. <laughs> You don't God, know that. So she probably bizarre. asked if you wanted to fucking RuneScape gold for rubbing her tits. <laughs> I'll give you a mil if you... <laughs> hey, you want 99 fishing? She's my RuneScape girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm good. Um, Go on. <laughs> I'm not. But yeah, uh, eventually, this mo- the more and more comfortable I got around that, around them. How? I, so no, tell us how you got to that point though. There was more than just boob rubbing. Yeah, like, yeah, like you didn't just go from grabbing a boob to ramming your dick in her. Like there's there's a step in between there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. I'm saying as the more and more just, comfortable I got, I this this whole hour podcast is just gonna be this. I just f- imagine. Bro, you know what's I just imagine. About? I know my mom is gonna listen to this shit, and I've told her this story before, but never this in depth. Well. <laughs> Hi, 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 Mick. Well, you, mom. You, you raised you raised a gem. <laughs> hi, Mick, mom. <laughs> okay. I just uh, imagine you laying on the bed on your side with like one hand on your head, just tilted, just watching them collapse. Exactly, <laughs> exactly what I did. God. Just literally that's so like, weird. just like chilling there on my side, like I'm watching TV or something. I'm just sitting there fucking. I'm just watching him fucker. You're just swinging your legs back and forth, <laughs> smile on your face. He's got, his, he's got his legs up in the air like a little kid coloring a book. Like, um, <laughs> all right, go on. So yeah, the more and more comfortable I got around them, uh, I eventually got to the point where I would watch porn on the computer. And what the fuck? It's happening in front of you live. And, and yeah, what? Like dick out, watching porn, like jerking off while they're fucking. What? <laughs> I don't know. Like I this was, just gets more and more worse. So like, like I, 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 I think we want to rethink us going to visit McNasty. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna jerk off in the room with you? <laughs> well, you no. This was 12 years ago. You gonna watch me take a piss, McNasty? <laughs> I don't need to watch watching I have cameras. porn while you're peeing. Okay. You have cameras. <laughs> I have a GoPro in my toilet. Uh, I'm not taking any of my clothes off of your house. Taking a fat <laughs> dump in that toilet. Uh, so, um, yeah, that uh, that eventually got to the point where she was like, um, she she was she started sucking she was, me off she and was him at the same time. Di- uh, yeah, like we were, oh, man. we were standing up next to each other and she was like back and forth. Did you guys like high five? Were you dudes like, yeah, like holding hands and shit? No. <laughs> It's like kiss each, each other on the cheek. <laughs> Doing neither, with each other. Maybe this were gay. Whis- we weren't like, whispering in his ear. No. I don't know. It sounds kind of gay. <laughs> Braiding each other's hair. <laughs> so you, you, so you think that if you if you were to have a threesome with another dude, but you didn't touch the dude, or well, like hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop you there, McNasty. I wouldn't have a threesome with another dude. <laughs> Yeah, this scenario is impossible. <laughs> I would go, I know, wow, dude. this is weird. <laughs> you have a threesome with two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Get it right. Why would I stop at one dude? <laughs> this is fucking cursed. This is the worst podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long fucking story. This, this is a long story. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, so yeah, she was just like, we would stand up and she would just boom, boom, back and forth between us. Which I I felt kind of weird because it it felt weird for her to like suck his dick and then immediately put her mouth on my dick. Yeah, you basically like, touched his dick with yours. But it, yeah, I probably time, punched her in the head. I, I was just fifteen. Probably would have liked that. Fifteen and just horny shit didn't care. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed that if you were in that position, you boys didn't just both from the back and just each try to get in one of them. You know, like a race to get to the vagina. 
Whoever doesn't get there gets stuck with the ass. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. That's All right. we never shot that down. We never did anything. So like it was oh, never oh, what, what that what that would be weird. Our, our dick and balls were always <laughs> at least like That's four foot away the line, from each other. Bro. So your dick and balls were social distancing. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> That's good. Like That's awesome. it, we we never DP'd her. Like that was that was too far. Because when you DP your balls or you're hitting balls, and that's just weird. That's too weird, especially for a 15 year old that's losing his virginity. Nah, fuck that. So, um, anyways, so yeah, wait, uh, hold on. Question about her: Was she hot? She was not unhot. She was Uh-oh. like, Uh-oh. she was like okay, <laughs> you know, at the time. Looked like Oprah. She was just like a little short emo girl. <laughs> I don't know. She was. I, I thought she was attractive. Well, I would. I would hope so. You put your fucking wiener in her and jerked off next to her. Yeah, I did many a time. Um. So yeah, eventually got to the point uh, where just like wow, we started like having sex. What a roller coaster! Having sex with her. Imagine. And- so wait, did you ever like actually put it in her vagina, or was it like just always her mouth? No. Yeah, we like we started having sex. Oh wow, man! Like what if bitches that better be using jimmies for like probably yeah. two months straight before. Well, the reason it stopped happening is because uh, my school started contacting my mom, telling them that I wasn't showing up to school at all, and I eventually. And, and you just told your mom you were railing your friend. At the time, no, I can't, I can't remember what I told her. I told her I was just ditching and just doing dumb shit. Um, but uh, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you, that's, that's not, not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> completely factual. Well, I had to. After that happened, I had to. They gave me a slip every morning at school, and I had to have that slip signed by each teacher every day. So I could not ditch it all. I would get in trouble, and I was mad about that because I just went from like fucking somebody every day to just not fucking them. <laughs> unfortunately, I I feel like that's an upgrade when there's not a dude involved. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's I, I'm pretty comfortable well, just, with like sexuality, didn't, didn't but like care. I think that'd be too far. I just don't think I'd be like, yeah, another guy boner. Awesome, I'm erect. I I like that. That's it, awesome. It wasn't like, the I just, boner I that turned me I on. Well, I mean, obviously, but you're gonna look at it at some point. It's just it's staring at you, especially if one of you is doing it from behind, the other's in front. You guys are looking towards each yeah, other. Yeah, looking at snake eye, baby. Yeah, I like think you guys are looking at yeah, each other. Were, there's were, a, there was at there was at some point where you guys like made physical contact, whether you were like swapping sides or some shit. Yeah, we, were, like, we were best friends, and we just like we were really comfortable with each other. Not I love my best friends. I wouldn't plow a girl with them. Why not? I don't think I'd ever be uh, comfortable enough to let my best friend fuck my girlfriend. Nope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't think... yeah, that's not a. Some people are just. Some people are like more apt to have like open relationships. They're just okay with that kind of shit. Obviously, like clearly, he was okay with it. So was she. You don't know that he might have cried every night. Uh, so um, that, now that that story's kind of over, the the stupidest part about it is. So, like I said, he got me into RuneScape, right? And I remember I made my own RuneScape account, and I it was it was low level. I didn't have it for very long, and he he like lost his laptop, so he gave me his RuneScape account, and I leveled the fuck out of that. I got that almost like a build GP on that account. It was like a level hundred twenty something, and then like so this is the stupid part. He, me and him, like I think he moved or something, or he went to a different school somewhere. And we didn't like he was your best friend, and you don't know what happened to him. I, honestly, I just don't remember. We we <laughs> he just we disappeared, just, like, well, and you were like, like hey. it wasn't like one day we were hanging out, and the next day we just never hung out again. It was like a slow progression of like him just being more distant because he had to like move and blah blah blah. All but anyways, all right, that's um, So during that time, we were becoming more distant. I I invited his girlfriend over to my house one time because she needed she couldn't like get a ride home from school or something. So she like came over to my house for a little bit and like hung out and then she like left after that. But during that time she was at my house, we had sex and because that happened, he, he got mad that I had sex with her without him, like without him being there. And he stole the RuneScape account back from me. That is the most (laughs) fucking odd story. (laughs) 
<laughs> those, I words have never, I, those words have never been so put in the many, same sentence. I fucked his girlfriend, so he took in my ruined That was like account. his revenge. Was There's so the many comeback. things wrong with what you just said. <laughs> I'm really glad I decided this was a podcast I'd drink on. <laughs> this oh, was a fantastic choice. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, wow, I mean, I was gonna tell a story about, like, how my, like, I never had a threesome, but, like, a couple of my good friends did. Uh, I was gonna tell that, but I, I feel like it just wouldn't even come close. <laughs> like, <laughs> we were, How do you follow yeah. that? Like, yeah. yeah. Don't. <laughs> um, so they were at, they were at, uh, one of our friend's house, and it was with a girl who was, she was very sexually open. Um, she has hooked up with, like, every single one of our friends, and, like, nobody really gave a fuck. We were just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Um, and I wasn't at the house during this point, but, um, it was after a party, and there was, like, four of them there. And this girl and one of my friends went into the bedroom and were like, fuck it, we're gonna have sex. And then one of the dudes that wasn't in the bedroom was like, I wanna have sex, though. So he knocked on the door <laughs> like a and was like, <laughs> and was like, can can I join? And we have a three way. And I don't know how they got to this point, but they're all obsessed with that dinosaur game when when you don't have internet. Um, oh, the little, oh, so the he's like, game. yeah, yeah. So he's like, if you get a thousand, you can come in and have sex with her. So he apparently he <laughs> sat outside this door for like half an hour trying to get a thousand on the fucking dinosaur game. And my other friend who doesn't drink or anything, so he's the only sober one. Walked over and was like, dude, why don't you just tell them you got a thousand? He's like, oh yeah. And apparently he just stood up, opened the door, was like, I got a thousand. Pulled down his pants and just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the whole, that was the entire thing. They just banged and that was it. They went to bed. And like, my one sober friend opened the door and he said there was like just 12 condoms like on the floor. <laughs> just like a mess of naked people and he just left. That was it. Didn't wake him up, just Jeez. fucked off. God, that but like stank. <laughs> oh yeah, that probably smell like fucking dick cheese. But uh, I mean, that's really nothing compared to McNasty getting used as a mattress and then fucking <laughs> someone's girlfriend. <laughs> God, you were you were calling me a cuck earlier, and I feel like he was kind of the cuck in that situation. I think you were both the cucks because you fucked his girlfriend too. God, the saddest part he is you he never fucked my. I didn't, she wasn't my girlfriend. A cook is somebody I, I who know. fucks somebody's, like, significant other. Well, isn't cuck somebody who wants to watch their significant other get fucked? Right. Yeah, but she wasn't my significant other, ever. Okay, so, yeah, he was cuck. So right. Glad we like, got that was just, glad, was we, like, glad we did that math, everyone. It was like live porn. You just, you're sitting there watching two, like, a couple fuck. Wow, you're... You're really trying to justify like, this as not weird, huh? It was like chatterbait, <laughs> dude, but, like, I was there, physically. <laughs> and I could smell it all and hear it all, and it was really weird. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what Omegle's like. Mm -hmm. All right, can we uh, can we move on to the next topic? I'm tired of thinking about McNasty boning someone. How long was that? How long have we been going? That was such a long half hour now. That was, jeez, wow, that was Not a really good voice. story. That was yeah, that was that was quality. We've never we've we've all known that. Like he's told us that he lost his virginity to like his friend's girlfriend in a three way. But you never got in depth. Like yeah. I never knew that you were used as a mattress and <laughs> like you guys just did it for months and we're just like, yeah, pound town. <laughs> I'm so happy you told us. I'm not. I'm gonna think about that later I'm and probably put disturbed. a gun in my mouth. I'm turned yeah. on. <laughs> I wish I'm, I'm I a lot of there. things and that's not was, one of them. Honestly, I was hoping that you guys would have had some kind of like Spicier virginity lost story too. So yeah, no, I, like, I, I oh, see yeah, I my girlfriend. Yeah, no, I, I just, I just. I meant literally... spicier than like the then ones just... that they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing exciting on on nope. my part. Me either. <laughs> so I really, that really made your story look even more crazy. <laughs> so that's something. All right, what's the next topic? We stop talking about dicks and woman. Um, what's your favorite the next movie topic or TV show? <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow, what a... <laughs> what a sad like going from The most rated R to the mm. most PG topic yeah. possible. <laughs> What's your um, favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite subject in third grade? Um, uh, wow. Uh, 
I mean, I, 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 I are we answering this? <laughs> I, I guess my f- <clears throat> my favorite TV show is The Grand Tour. The That's Grand Tour? Show. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what yeah, that is. It's like, so I, have you ever heard of Top Gear? It's like a really old show yeah. at this point now. Um, but the old host got fired from that because he, he punched a producer. <laughs> um, the main guy named Jeremy Clarkson punched a producer in the head. So they fired him. And the other two that were the co-hosts were like, nah. And they quit as well. So they started their own show with Amazon, and I don't know, it's pretty good. They just, like, do dumb shit and travel. Isn't Top Gear, uh, like, um, it's like a uh, show about cars, right? Yeah, it was a British TV show about cars. Oh, yeah. It still airs, but, like, for some reason, like, the dude from Friends is a host and stuff. It's, I don't know what's going on. Isn't, like, 18 dudes on Friends? I want to. I don't know. <laughs> I've never watched that piece of shit show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Some hate in the comments for that. Dude, like actually, that. you know, you know, no. you know what I did? Ooh. I watched one episode without the laugh track because it was on YouTube, and I wanted to see. And without laugh tracks, those shows are actually like more funny because what? they're so fucking cringe. That's just how a lot of sitcoms are, bro. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, sitcoms are kind of dog shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I used to be super, super addicted to Two and a Half Men. I used to fucking love Why? that show. I don't That's know. Bad. I just like it. You had it. a weird upbringing. <laughs> <laughs> two and a Half Men was a massive, massive show. I act like I'm the only person that was interested. Yeah, for in it. alcoholic dads, <laughs> not for teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was probably like I was probably like in my twenties when I started watching it. <laughs> All right, but like I, I, me, me and the kid on Two and a Half Men were like the same age. So I feel like I could kind of relate with that kid in like certain, certain situations. You know what I mean? Do you know no. he grew up and like <laughs> found God and like quit the show? Oh yeah, he's a weirdo. Like, oh, okay. he's, a he's a weirdo because, because he found people God. Are weirdo. No, no, he <laughs> like, uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, if I worked with Charlie, if I worked with Charlie Sheen for ten plus years, I'd probably be a fucking weirdo too. Yeah, I'd true. probably need some sort of God at that point. He probably didn't want to end up with AIDS, so he just went the complete opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. Well, he uh, he became like well, I don't know if he's like that anymore, but I remember there was a period of time where he was just like really, really like conspiracy theorist kind of person. Like everything's like what? fake and the Illuminati and blah blah blah. He'd, like oh, he'd make like YouTube videos and like rants about. But he liked just, religion. I guess he is now. I don't know. I didn't hear about that. Oh, I just heard God. that that he like found God or something, and then the show. He's like, I can't be on the show anymore. So did they kill him off? No, they actually killed Charlie Sheen off. That's why Ashton Kutcher was in like a couple se- the like last two seasons. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, they killed Charlie Whoa, Sheen off because he wanted like cast. he wanted like three million dollars a show or something. And they were just like, "Fuck no, that was way too what much." What the hell? Did yeah. I think they sent the kid off to military or something like uh, to be in the army? <laughs> he just died oh, yeah, in the war right. or something. Yeah, <laughs> I think when that's a- what they did. <laughs> when Ashton just Kutcher got was got murdered in the war, got, <laughs> just got beheaded by ISIS life, <laughs> like. What a fucking weird thing to get rid of he, somebody. He like came back for a few episodes though, like during the Ashton Kutcher era. Mm. Like he would come, he would go on leave and then like come back. But like, and, what what was the show about when the kid was gone and Charlie Sheen was gone? Like that's that's two that's the half man and the men. It was yeah, like, it's it's just, now, it's just, now it's just, it's just man? man. It was just John <laughs> Pryor and Ashton Kutcher being just dumb guys. Well, like the reason Ashton Kutcher came on the show is like. He tried to commit suicide or something, and then he like, like John Cryer, the Alan or whatever the guy in the show. He like went out to the beach and like saw him like trying to kill himself in the ocean, and then like brought him in the house, and then he like found out that he was like a tech billionaire, and then yeah, he just kind of like he ended up like buying the house. It was like literally the same and episode where they the guy in it where they had the funeral for uh, Charlie Sheen in the show. So it's like, yeah, it was just, it was kind what, of a weird a, transition. What a yeah. mismatch of mess of that AIDS. That show went to hell. It did. Well, that's why it literally lasted <laughs> for like two more seasons and then they just canceled it. But the that. half man didn't. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. He's with Allah yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, they didn't specify what god. <laughs> yeah, he's with Zeus. He's with, <laughs> he's with the spaghetti monster. <laughs> he's in the Greek mythology now. He's with Van Os now. <laughs> what? Is Thanos a god? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Is he a okay. god at like awesome. mini golf? <laughs> Got it. Prop hunt. Prop hunt. Got it. Prop hunt. Yeah. 
Actually, he's pretty good at guitar. He's, he's oh yeah, so, yeah. yeah oh, true. I always forget that he plays Dude, guitar. Dude, his music's actually really good. Yeah, is the ring yeah, stuff, yeah. Uh, I saw him, saw him live twice. Um, we just happened to be in the same place as him when he was touring, and obviously I was with Smitty, so him and Smitty are decent friends. So yeah, I went and saw him twice. His shows were pretty solid. Not I bad. Light, he did with a light TMG. show was crazy. I didn't. I didn't know. I, I don't know. Um, was it broke? Honest. Broke boys or something? I can't remember. That's kind of ironic, because you know, because neither they're of them not broke. that. Yeah. <laughs> the farthest thing from that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. What's the next fucking topic? Well, wait, oh, <laughs> I don't so talk far, it's only me and you have answered. We still got soup and oh. I want to know what you're gonna. Yeah, yeah douchebag. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care about what you like or don't like. Wow, that's good to know. I forgot the fucking question. What? 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 It was, what's was your favorite, favorite like, TV movie show? or TV show of all time? Like growing oh. up or currently or whatever. Uh, my favorite TV show would have to be Breaking Bad, and movies probably the other guys. Oh, that's a good film. Which one's the other guys again? Will Ferrell, Meryl and Mark, and, uh, Mark racist Wahlberg. guy. Oh, Mark oh, racist right. guy. Is Mark Wahlberg racist? Yeah. He, he's literally been arrested for hate crimes. He like beat really? the shit out of a black dude and called him the N-word. I didn't know that. What the hell? Yeah, we've yeah. all been there. Yeah, me and Grizzy got in a fight over a bag of chips at PAX. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why Grizzy hates us. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but the other guys is oh, fucking, no, you- that's a funny ass movie. Dude, you just started another conspiracy theory. Oh, yeah. Actually, actually I got now. an I got I got another comment on my video recently that was like the conspiracy now is that you and Grizzy don't like each other. Me? So, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. always you for some reason. <laughs> yeah, it's it, Dude, oh, I'm you. Like the why nicest, do you have, most why docile do you, person here? Why do you why do you have beef Whoops. with all of YouTube, dude? How about we talk about that? <laughs> I just hate everyone. <laughs> yeah, what's going on with you yeah, and they're... Philip DeFranco? I heard some shit about that. Like, what's going on with that? <laughs> <laughs> do hate uh, scares. Do hates PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sub to PewDiePie. Whoa. Whoa. Do right, only dude, likes T your... series. <laughs> My friend, they are epic. <laughs> uh, favorite TV show is probably Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh. All right. Survivor's a good one, though. Don't don't hate on Survivor. Or I'll beat up I've someone that, that you love. I don't really need to do it anymore. Yeah, we, um, we literally, I had like two minute segment in my video making fun of Survivor. <laughs> all right, you guys can all lick the fat side of my left nut. I don't care. Anyway, why do you have a fat side of your left nut? <laughs> don't worry, it's probably you got cancer. a tumor. <laughs> don't worry, it's probably cancer. Just another Nine. ball. <laughs> um, movie probably uh, The Martian. Have you guys seen that one with Matt Damon? I think I've seen that once. That yeah. movie's that movie's very unrealistic. As well for time. Hey, I'll have you know, my chemistry teacher said that it checks out <clears throat> actually do remember teacher's my an idiot teacher. i like interstellar yeah better. well he has a doctorate so oh he's an idiot if well you said blarg has 300k subs so exactly what's he have huh <laughs> yeah no well, blarg does have a bomb 300k in debt times. maybe from his phd that's about it snap put it there yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sure there's a lot of those hanging around. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> we got we stand to listen. Yeah, to us. we attract a lot of scholars here in this. This, this is podcast. a very highly intellectual <laughs> podcast. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank thank you. Thank you. Never do that thank again. You for, thank you for thank you for the slurp transition into the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, McNasty hit us. I started. I started to drool for some reason. <laughs> Of course you did. Right after talking about how smart we are, you started drooling. I started to drool and I just slurp it up. I was like in a window next to my setup and I just started to drool. I was thinking about plain milk. I was drinking some plain milk this morning, all right? What are you fucking weirdo? Okay, whole milk topic? or two percent. <laughs> okay, almond. Well, I mean, I think this one's whole milk for anybody. cereal, two percent for drinking. Almond for both. Skim for everything. Oh, oh my god, my god. you guys are all fucking weirdos. <laughs> it's it's only milk whole milk gang. Weird. Whole milk, milk in gang. general is weird, dude. Drinking almond milk, milk is, is fucking, fucking weird. I would rather suck a dog's fucking red cock. Then drink almond milk. It sucks so much. Fuck <laughs> almond milk. 
<laughs> a lot of passion there. Really? Yes, because everyone's just like, mm, everyone's like, mm, yes, mm, according to my research, almond milk is the greatest <laughs> ever. It is I God's just, syrup sent to us from I heaven. Like All right, and you fucking video. get almond milk, and it tastes like shit. I'd my, rather lick my, a public toilet bowl. My, okay, my Damn, view on really stuff like that, an almond milk. my view on Jeez, stuff like that bro. is like, if I wouldn't go up to a cow at a farm and just start sucking on his fucking tit, then I'm not going to drink it just because it's now in a carton. Fuck you, Blarg. Your whole a, fucking society eats goats and fucks them. Goes between drink, the tit and the milk in the carton. You drink tree juices. You put it on your. You're food. sexually attracted to a fucking goat, Blarg. Yeah. I think my girlfriend might find that a little offensive. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say your girlfriend was a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> anyway, right. fuck almond milk. Next subject. <laughs> Uh, is <laughs> if this subject is about milk, you, I swear to God. <laughs> Why did you right. the almond milk so hard? That was a very because everyone says it's. So I'm not talking about it anymore. I don't. Ag I agree with you for what it's worth. Nothing. Your opinion is worth nothing. Uh, next topic. Because <laughs> I'm Native American. There's always but... that one fucker. Every time we talk about milk, they're just like almond milk, dude. Almond milk's the greatest. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to punch a hole. Yeah, it's lower calorie and same protein. It is actually theoretically better. Dude, don't tell him that he's gonna punch something. I'm gonna like say a, it tastes good. It's like a boomer he's Xbox gonna... lobby. Seems <laughs> 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 like a grumpy uh, old man at a uh, fucking retirement home. Just kidding. <laughs> pissed off that he got fucking almond milk with his oatmeal. <laughs> Uh, yeah. next right. topic. Right, next topic, uh, please. The next question uh, by Martin Nelson. Uh, if you were a transformer, what would you transform into? A a different gender. Okay. All right, Let's next topic. Though. <laughs> <laughs> next topic. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, dude? Me and my cop is dildo. Oh. Okay. Wait, <laughs> oh. I was going to say her ass. <laughs> Just... All right. Yeah. I can probably get her to so follow you on Twitter. Oh, does she follow you on Twitter? Yeah. Oh, all right. Nice old name drop. <laughs> yeah. I could probably get her to send you a picture of a butthole. Actually, you probably Okay, well, that's not hard. Don't don't Google Images can do that. You just, that. You just, I don't need you to be my imagine, plug. <laughs> imagine asking your fucking porn star girlfriend for nudes. <laughs> I think she, like I'm, you could I'm pretty sure just she has a Google boyfriend. them. I think she has a boyfriend. I, would you guys ever date a porn star? I'm gonna, I'm gonna slightly. Hell no! no to the no, no, no! Hell to the no! I, I would date an OnlyFans girl, but I would not yeah, date. Of course, a porn she star. would. Hell no! To the no, no, no! Hell to the no! Honestly, I, I'd probably be okay with, with either. You guys are sinners. Like, You're going to hell. Your a little too much. I, I can, I can imagine like dating somebody that's just constantly fucking other dudes. I mean, yeah, if she's just like, you know, hanging out with boy in a 14 fucking thousand foot cock, then I'm going to say, hey, that, that, that's not epic. <laughs> I, 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 try, I try to go in here and it just, I feel like I'm throwing you a hot dog down the hallway. You never see him, dude. He'd be fucking your girlfriend from like <laughs> all, all another cock. country. Like. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess there's, I would just avoid watching her content, I guess. That would you know, be how so was hard work? to do, though. Good. Ah, that's great. <laughs> like, what if it was somebody... Like, know. what if you were dating, like, Rachel Starr or somebody like like a really famous porn star where it's just like, all you do I, is open Pornhub and she's right there, boom, boom, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. A porn star. Okay, let me let me think of another famous The fact that you know porn Riley stars Reed. by, like, n by name, McNasty. Okay, I know I know who that is. Riley Reed. Because she was... You dated Riley she Reed on the Misfits then, podcast? Boom. Yes, she was. Oh, no. Nah, she was on Logan Paul's podcast. I don't think she was on Misfits. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Mia Makova was on... Yeah, she like I deep... I hate this conversation. She like deep-throated uh, the sure Let's SM talk about Mudden. <laughs> <laughs> they can talk. We'll talk right, over the top. southern cunts. Whoa! Uh, um, what would you guys transform into? <laughs> Really he has to do. transform into a mattress to let that couple fuck <laughs> on him again. <laughs> He's already done that, so yeah. yeah. Just, Where do you experience right. that life? There's not much to talk about <laughs> with what you transform into. I would transform into um, antacid tablets. 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of like. <laughs> Did you just look at the nearest thing on your desk and say that's what you would transform into? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'd transform into me lemonade condom. <laughs> I want to transform into a tree, get cut down, turn into paper, and have someone print the Bible on me for all you sinners. That's a mistake. I would transform into a thing. I would I would transform into a milk carton inside of Soup's fridge, but change myself to almond milk. He'd probably shoot you. (laughs) I would would take his shit in the gallon and shake it around. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's chocolate almond milk. Mm. All right. I would, well, that I would topic come did in not that last. gallon just to get you off, McNasty. I like uh, you would shitty fuck it in front of him. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Um. Well, that topic sucked. Next topic. <laughs> okay. Here's a here's another weird question. Uh, Brad, Brad Waries. Brad Waries. What's Brad he Wart? Um. <laughs> he wor- if you could have a note. child with an actor actress. I like how they put actor or actress. Like we're gonna have a child with like Ben Affleck or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's gonna he's gonna you get have me a ch- if you could have a child with a man or a woman. <laughs> okay, if you could have a child with an actress, who would it be and why? And what kind of life do you think your child will have? Scarlett Johansson. Ooh, that's a you, good one. You do Steve have a- Carell. <laughs> She's hot as fucking rich. So what so, what kind know, of she- life do you think the child would have? I don't know. We'd probably abort it. I just want to fucking marry Scarlett Johansson. That's about it. You have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Well, I okay, can't, okay. What? I'm not allowed to say other no, women are attractive. Never. No. God. I would adopt a child with Rick Grimes because both of his children are fucking dead. Right. <laughs> Wait, I, I, are you talking about the actor? Or like his his real life story. I don't know, dude. Like, Wait, he just had like yeah. two the, vicious the daughter's still alive, right? Isn't the daughter alive? Wait, he okay. had another one? I don't know I what's don't going on in that show. Yeah, in the show won't... he had Carl, and then he had the baby, but the baby grew up. I'd let my oh, kid really? play with a loaded <laughs> gun. I would have sex <laughs> He'd with be a good dad. Carl's mama. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you could do that. His mama. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're Carl's mama. Is that the pussy Carl came out of? <laughs> Let me see that pussy that Carl came out uh, of. Why is it kind of falling off? What's mm, going on there? Yeah, I'm just imagining Carl coming out of his uh, pussy. Uh, hey, uh, Carl. <laughs> it's weird that you're imagining uh, a fetus. <laughs> it's kind of fucked. <laughs> Reminds me of someone. All right, um, anyway. It takes so long it touches the fetus, Carl. Hmm. I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> we in the podcast on that. What the fuck that? is our life? No, we, 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 <laughs> yeah. we have recording Please cut up. that. For Please sake. cut that no, out. Fuck no. No. No, Please cut make that, that my sub That made me this. physically ill. McNasty, McNasty, here's the audio spike. Cut this out. This is the podcast. I'm going, of I'm going to the ER. <laughs> there's a dude clapping like a retard. Put it up front. <laughs> Not deleted. Okay, what's, can we end the podcast? Okay. No. Okay. You guys one more topic. One answer. more topic. Come no, on, you guys didn't topic. even give actual answers. You said I said Steve Rick- Carell or Rick Grimes, bro. <laughs> I said his mom. Those are men. All right, McDassy, who would you go to Pound Town with and make a make a booger baby? I would do Emma Stone. Probably Rosie O'Donnell. Answer. Yeah. That, what? <laughs> no, ew. <laughs> um, I don't know. Ellen Dwayne Cena. Probably is that, a, is that a real person? Mm. Probably. <laughs> Ellen's our old manager. <laughs> uh, did you guys hear seconds. about that shit about Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> yeah. yeah, she got canceled because she's an ass. Yeah, that's so weird. She's like seems like such. A I nice mean, person. she's always been she's always been fucking weird. Like, I remember watching this clip of like her talking to Zac Efron, and uh, she was talking about like his body for the movie Neighbors and like how shredded he was. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he's just like, he was just trying to talk about like how that's not realistic and stuff and how like nobody should strive for that. Oh, well, I don't know, regardless. But he was like talking about like how men should strive for that shit. It's unrealistic. And she just fucking like lifted up his shirt in the middle of him talking. Oh, like, yeah, she's a total. Can you imagine predator. if that was the other way around and he just mm. was like, she was talking about her body and like, you know, beauty standards for women and he just pulled out her tits. We're just like, yeah, look at those boys. <laughs> Like that's so yeah. weird. <laughs> I'd be like, that's so why, fucking why are you doing that to odd. a lesbian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> tits are tits, bro. Why? It's not like they look any different because they're lesbian tits. Yeah, but she's a little bit too butch for her boobs <laughs> to be like. Dude, they got little penises on them. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. 
Uh, do we have one more topic? Um, uh, We're really limp into the barn after yeah. McNasty. Wait, what did you want to talk about? Uh, you said there was a, a different topic that you want to talk about. Me? Yeah, it's like when we started. Oh, the face reveal thing. Oh, fa- yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so this is something I always think about, like when I see a content creator who doesn't show their face. Like, what's your first assumption of them as to like why they don't show it? Because mine, honestly, up until I started seeing like people who still don't show their face, mine was always like they're probably just really ugly. Yeah. <laughs> and, like that was always my assumption. But every single person that doesn't show their face that I've now seen their face, they're like the most average, like normal looking, not ugly people that i've seen oh thank you except for like maybe do or mcnasty but you know who's ah, wow um but oh, uh, <laughs> i thought that was going the other direction wow yeah, you guys are fucking ugly as shit <laughs> no i, I just, I, just physically, assumed... I, I physically can't be nice to you guys so i gotta you know i've always that. assumed that like they just didn't want to do it because of like a job or you know if youtube didn't work out they'd have to go get a job and maybe they don't want a picture of dip all over their face <laughs> all over the internet. I don't know. I yeah, could be wrong. Imagine you trying to be an accountant after your channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much fucked for life. So, if you guys don't Rain watch our videos, legends. then you know. Yeah, I'm We're just going to be a homeless. homeless man under a bridge. Fucking <laughs> squirrels and eating fucking chicken legs that are left out in the rain. <laughs> You've already got your full back. So you got more. <laughs> Got like He's your for this. 401k ready. <laughs> Full of wet chicken legs. <laughs> yeah. Gross. All right. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. I just oh, assumed. Yeah. I assumed that it was just for anonymity because that's my reason, you know. So uh, that's kind of just what I always assumed. I didn't assume that they were like butt ass ugly or something. Yeah, me too. Well, like even before, fair. even before I ever like really planned on doing YouTube, I always like. I always told myself, even if I ever like got into YouTube or I got in a position where I would like be where I am now, I probably wouldn't want to show my face just for privacy reasons. So I just like, yeah, whenever I'd see a YouTuber that didn't show their face, like is I used to, I used to watch Smitty a lot back in the day and that was before he ever showed his face. And I just figured, yeah, he probably doesn't show his face cause just privacy. Also, like I, I feel like having it, it, it makes a, a mascot on your channel more like it adds more value yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, that was his biggest worry when he did his face reveal. That like it would break the fourth wall too much, and a lot of people would start disliking yeah, his milkbag exactly. mascot. Yeah, but yeah, because whenever like whenever I would think of Smitty before, I would obviously think of the milk bag, and now I just picture his face. I've seen it a bunch. of times. I still do, which is fucked because I've I've like grown up with him the last like twelve years, like yeah. in person, and I still whenever I think of like the word Smitty instead of like his real name, I just think of a milk bag think and of not. A bag, yeah. He's not the person behind it. It's so weird. So, I mean, I guess that's good marketing, but yeah, I, I kind of always intended on showing my face. I just like didn't really give a fuck. I still really don't. I don't know. Like, realistically, if I ever want to get a job after YouTube, like if for whatever reason my channel just fucking dies and I need to get a job like ASAP, a place that like wouldn't hire me because these videos is probably a place I wouldn't want to work at anyway. Well, the thing like, is, too, it's I not like know. you put your face in the videos, and like what? Yeah, it's not. It's not like I say a black joke and zoom in on my face. Like yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> yeah, well, we can't all say that. So, <laughs> <laughs> been down that yeah, road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're in your own fucking. You're in your own <laughs> mess. But I mean, you're in Carolina. It doesn't matter what you do there. <laughs> yeah, they probably want to hire me more. <laughs> yeah, you probably get a raise. Seeking bad, bad past. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys ever quit YouTube or like YouTube like disappeared and you had to get a job, would you put it on your resume? Fuck uh, no. <laughs> Hell no. To the no no See, no. I would probably delete my risky videos and then just be like, yep, I did YouTube and be like go back to like before I found you fucking dumb fucks. Well the thing is, is if like, you hey guys are gonna play GTA <laughs> just like have really shit videos. If you had a resume and there was just a ten year gap of you not having a job, they would be like, what the fuck is going on? Why have you not worked in Yeah, years? as you roll up in an expensive car <laughs> exactly. truck and have like a nice house. <laughs> well, my grandpa died and got a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see you do that. Just make up, a, make up a story about it. Yeah, a little bit of backstory. I mean, Soup has already made up his homeless lore, so it shouldn't be that hard to come up with a story as to what else you were doing. <laughs> well, wouldn't you believe I was the fourth descendant of actual Rose, and I just ended up with all this guns and Rose and money. 
All this Guns N' Roses money. Fuck the city. Whatever's left of it. This was like 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, his family's quite busy. <laughs> like they were around during like the Joan of Arc days or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Axel Rose fought in World War One. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Right, um, Axel Rose uh, helped Noah build the Ark. <laughs> I have a good uh, and there's another good question uh, that's no, different because it's not it's in not you don't, have, you don't have this it's just a, it's, I think we've talked about it before but I don't know if we've ever talked about it on the podcast but um, Sprite Pixel asked uh, for new subscribers how did you come up with your name Nasty Soup to Vlog. Deep throw a hot dog and let me know what noise it makes. Yeah, it was actually. I don't think we've ever talked about your name, Blarg. Yeah, my yeah I didn't know. What's well, that all about? Um, I don't know. I don't know What's what the, the fuck it means. Part? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. I mean, I've always just left it up for interpretation. If you think it means gargling on a dick, great. If you think it means going for a bike ride, sure. Why not? Yeah. So it's, it's like always just been like whatever, but. Like- yeah, that's yeah, weird. that was well. I mean, that was like when I was like fifteen. It's like my actual brand is just like Blark, but even that, I don't know what the fuck that is. Was that originally like a, a race. gamer tag or something? Yeah, well, so I don't know. There's some dude. I don't know if like he was the reason, but I found him after on my Xbox friends list. It was Blark my Schnoogle, and I was like, I don't know which one of us was first, or if I like subconsciously saw that and thought put a P there because I don't recognize it. Like I don't even know who it is. So I don't know. That's where that I don't know. That full thing just like happened because I was like 15 and thought I was fucking quirky. And then, you know, now it's just blarg. And even that, I don't fucking know. It just kind of sounds like somebody getting pounded in their throat. Blarg. Blarg. Yeah. It's like somebody, apparently it's like a race in Ratchet and Clank or something. Blarg is? Yeah. Blarg. It's the character blarg in Mario. Or something. It's like the lava character in Mario. Is it? Yeah. Blarg is like that dinosaur that comes out of the lava or whatever. It's not very nice to say to me. You mean Bowser? No, there's a little like. <laughs> <he's gay>. Look. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look up Blark Super Mario. Just I hope it's me with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's just me with a badly photoshopped Mario hat. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody make that happen. Super Mario. <laughs> oh yeah, he is actually a thing. Oh, he's got two G's though. Interesting. Moving on from the two G's comment. (laughs) 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 What other words have two G's in it? (laughs) (laughs) Leave a comment below. We're going to learn about words with two G's today. (laughs) Like a terrible episode of Sesame Street. (laughs) 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 Oh, Christ. All right. Fucking Uh, you guys give yours. Mine is. uh, So I when I back when I used to play Xbox a lot, I used to make uh, abhorrently fucked up jokes like I still do today. And I had wow, like really on I, I had like my little uh, group of friends, little people that I don't know that I met on Xbox, or just group of friends that are like you play with that are good or whatever. Um, yeah. And yeah, they would be like, "Oh, that joke is McNasty," or they just say like they just bring up the word McNasty for some reason, and they're actually kind of just like stuck. I've never yeah, said that word in very, my life. It's very mm. cringy. Like, I mean, it was like two thousand like nine, two thousand eight. It's just like, oh yeah, my I god, guess. that was McNasty, bro. Like. So that's the kind of dumb shit you say when you're fucking yeah. 13 in 2008. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. Yeah. So eventually it kind of just stuck, but um, yeah, for a while I didn't really like use it. And then once I started making like uh, music before I started my channel, I was like, yeah, I feel like I can use McNasty. That'd be a good like EDM name. Nobody nobody really has it. <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's probably a reason for that. But yeah, no, I okay. actually went through quite a few names when I was thinking of like YouTube names, but um. I didn't because I didn't really intend on ever actually making YouTube a job. I just wanted like like my goal was like 10k subs and I was just going to be like whatever that's enough. Mm. But obviously you know <laughs> here I am. Okay uh, and on to sniping soup. <laughs> you mean liquid metal right. 7-Eleven? <laughs> well so I used to be into sniping a lot whenever I would play games like Call of Duty and I used to like make <laughs> like, me- montages and shit and you okay. know joining clans with people that I met online <laughs> and uh, I eventually I got to the age of like 14 <laughs> where I thought that that was pretty fucking lame and yeah, I was like okay. well I like sniping but like I want to and I was uploading videos at the time too like montages and you know shit like that with my friends 
and like I, I still like doing stuff like that back then but i wanted to also do like trolling videos and like funny kind of videos and i was Bring like back a, a name back like trolling. yeah and i was like a name like fucking arise snipes which is one of my old gamer tags just would not fit well with that mm-hmm. so i was like uh sniping soup would probably be pretty good and it was soup because uh whenever i was in like middle school people used to call me salad because my name is Dallas, and if you spell Dallas backwards, it's salad. Salad, yeah. With okay. two L's. So you were soup and salad? Right, and I, I was going to be sniping salad, but I was like, eh, that just doesn't <laughs> sound that good. I, I can't <laughs> imagine being a brand of the guy Snipe. called salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> that just didn't, it didn't sound good. It did not sound good at all. And I was now like, you've gotten rid of the sniping, so you would just be salad. salad <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it just like yeah, I, I was like sniping salad just does not have a have a ring to it. And I was like, what's the opposite of salad? It's like soup. Hmm, or a sniping burger soup. Or pizza. <laughs> Yeah, something up, well, well no like you know like when you go to, uh, pizza yes. no like when you go to a restaurant <laughs> yeah, they're like do you want a Italian super salad super salad yeah do you want yeah. a super salad and i was just like hmm soup that sounds kind of cool i guess so yeah, yeah it's basically I mean, the opposite of my name backwards <laughs> interesting so there was well, thought to it it wasn't what just about like you soup. do just random name you like mountain dew uh yeah yeah my first my first name was mountain dew uh, the do is the same though. D with three O's or whatever. I just did it because I always like Mountain Dew the best. Don't at me. Best soda. Still think it is. And what's uh, your favorite flavor, Mountain Dew? Just m- men. Standard. Really? Regular men. Blarg. <laughs> men. <laughs> McNasty's always the kind of guy that's like, hmm, you like Coca Cola, and someone's just like, yeah, I like Coke. And McNasty's like, mm, you haven't tried the cherry lemonade <laughs> yeah, divided by You're seven Coke. A- you're such like a. Um, I was gonna say my favorite is Baja Blast. You haven't tried the TV static flavor. Baja Blast is overrated. I like Sorry, it. that's a lot of hate comments. Man, it's gonna be a lot of hate. It on is video. overrated. Baja Blast sucks. Thank you, sniping soup. I, I like Baja Blast that. because just like regular Mountain Dew, it doesn't really have a specific flavor. Like Code Red is like cherry. Voltage is like blueberry. All the other ones have oh, like a certain good. flavor. The yeah, only uh, soda I'll drink is root beer. Root beer tastes it. like cough syrup. I don't like root beer. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. No. You got me. So yeah, Mountain Dew. <laughs> Get on off, with facts and knowledge. Took off the Mountain Dew. <laughs> okay, Dew. Red Retard. pill, bro. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah. So, so anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mountain Dew was my favorite. So I was like, I need a gamer tag. What's something that like matters the most to me in life? Mountain Dew. So I picked that. <laughs> wow. And <laughs> not even like and, anything uh, guitar related. Just Mountain Dew. <laughs> or like. Yeah. His puppy, like his favorite dog or something, yeah. just a soda brand. Yeah, I'm a just a massive, mammals. massive billion dollar corporation is what he loves the most. Right. So <laughs> I, I made that my gamer tag. I made that my everything, my at my, um, my YouTube channel and everything. And then his driver's license, my driver's license, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my firstborn child. Uh, but once I started to get like some subs, yeah, like about a hundred K, I was like, what well, was too easy? The, the joke that I was going to make. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, once I started, g- <laughs> you just threw me off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Once I started getting, <laughs> once I st- this is so scoffed. Shut the hell up. Once I started getting some subs at about 100K, I was like, I should probably change my name because I don't want to get a cease and desist and I want to be my own thing. I don't want to be branded after a soda that already exists. And I, uh, so I, so I changed. I'm gonna ignore you from now I on. Rap God, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still really trying to finish the sentence because I don't want to like interrupt you. <laughs> this food's getting cold. Uh, I really want to go eat. This podcast is going on. Protein bar is getting cold, guys. His protein bar is getting cold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> his celery's getting dry. Uh, dude, please. I need my 50 calories. All right. So anyway. I, I figured I should probably change it to something else so I don't get sued or whatever. Right. Uh, ironically, I had more subs at that time than the Mountain Dew YouTube channel anyway, <laughs> but it's whatever. Uh, a flex. So I decided, yeah, a huge flex, bro, yeah. Um, sponsor me, please, Mountain Dew. But uh, I, so people just called me Dew already. They just refer to me that way. So I just like dropped the mountain and then added the, as in like the Dew is the me. Dew. It's not. It's not like shid, which is what people thought it was. People, oh, the doo doo. <laughs> That's what people thought. Uh, no, 
Thank you for clarifying, man. <laughs> we have a podcast now. I want to go eat, dude, yeah. in the space of crap. Um, I want to go sit in bed and play Pokemon. <laughs> I've had enough. Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. That was the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. The end. <laughs>